Let's go. If there's one thing that Proton is famed for, is the ride and handling of its cars. Short of the tune by Lotus Batch, you can still absolutely count on the ride and handling of a Proton car. Let's not forget that Proton also has one of the most professional and slick motorsports works teams in the region. So yes, Proton does know a little bit about how to make a car ride and handle well. So let's talk about one of the most anticipated cars in Malaysia of 2020 the Proton X50. If you haven't, do check out my first impressions of the Proton X50 up here. And also, if you're a subscriber, welcome back! And if you're not, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe and bell icons below. Fresh from the performance-focused media preview on Wednesday, I got a taste of the Proton X50's ride and handling, safety features, performance, and much more. In this video, I'll touch on my impressions based on a slalom test. Caveat. While a slalom test is by no means a representation of a real-world driving environment, it demonstrates how well the car handles a succession of turns and abrupt shifting of weight. There's also a sudden lane change at the very end of the course. Just to recap, the X50 comes in two engine configurations. The first is the 1.5 liter 3 cylinder port fuel injection turbo pushing 150 PS or 148 bhp with 226 newton meters of torque. Meanwhile, the flagship model is a 1.5 liter turbo direct injection 3 cylinder engine that outputs 177 PS or 175 bhp and topping 255 newton meters of torque. Power is delivered to the front wheels via a 7-speed DCT, of similar spec to the one on the X70, but optimized for the 3-cylinder power plants. For the slalom test, we're tasked to accelerate off the line and keep the speed at around 50 kmh while we steer the course. Here was my run. Fun. Super, super planted car. Based on my run on the simulated course, I found the X50 quick off the line and it cornered pretty flat throughout. Definitely less body roll compared to the bigger and heavier X70. I must say it felt nimble and didn't feel like an SUV at all. Very confident handling without the ride being harsh in any way. The leather seats offer excellent support and driving position is spot on. What's important to note is that the X50 offers several drive modes, which includes Eco, Standard and Sport. In sport mode, the steering is heavier and the suspension will feel stiffer. This is achieved through the car's Electronic Stability Program, or ESP. For the slalom test though, it was left in standard mode. Proton said during the media briefing that the X50's ride and handling has been tuned for comfort. This differs from the sporty, somewhat harsher characteristics of its donor car, the Geely Binue. So does less sporty and more comfort oriented mean a worse handling car? That's an excellent question. The short answer? No, a stiff suspension does not necessarily equate to a good suspension. In layman terms, a good suspension system absorbs bumps and ensures tyres have optimum contact on the road at all times, keeping the car not only predictable and stable, but also meeting NVH requirements. This helps the driver to be in control as well as keeping the passengers comfortable and safe. For the X50, Proton made adjustments to the front anti-roll bar, revised spring rates, 
dampers and bushes to optimize the car for Malaysian roads. It also gets a new electric power steering system with four steering modes. In essence, you get a comfortable, confident ride throughout. Whether you're in stop-and-go conditions, highway cruising, or engaging in spirited driving. Overall, I'm impressed in how refined the car feels inside and out. In the next video, I'll touch on acceleration and power. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about the X50 and this video. If you have any questions at all about the X50 or comments, leave them below in the comment section. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe and that bell icons. Until the next video, take care, stay safe, and peace. can launch the car but ideally you keep it at a constant speed if you're using your cameras now's the time to fall onto it like the parking brake as usual is now a switch and just roll off roll off get it to 50 the first one is a right and the left right okay i'm doing it normal mode by the way you hit the brakes hard here and then you need to turn the steering wheel full lock if not you're not going to make the u-turn and then go back through the slalom. Okay, here's a bit where it gets a bit tricky. Maintain at 50 and a quick lane change. And brakes. Okay.